What is LiDAR and who needs it? What is LiDAR? Great question. So LiDAR is different than uh, photogrammetry. It's a, it's a remote sensing technology. It's an active laser. I actually have a LiDAR right here in my hand. So this is, it's not actually just a LiDAR. This is a, a LiDAR mapping system, which is a little different because this sensor right here, this is a LiDAR. This shoots uh, about 240,000 laser pulses out of it every second. And so kind of the whole idea here is that we want to be able to make a 3D model very accurately. So we're going to send these laser pulses and make a distance measurement. And then inside of here, we have a bunch of navigation information that's going to tell us exactly where we're located on the Earth, as well as our orientation of this device. So if we know both where we are and our orientation, we can cast these laser pulses and then project those points onto the Earth in three dimensions. And so the beauty here is that it's very accurate and it can be done, you know, you know, very reliably, repeatably. And, you know, we're photogrammetry, you're gonna be stitching stuff together. Photogrammetry works great, but sometimes it doesn't always stitch together. Whereas this one's a active sensor, it's going to be directly projecting those points on the ground. Photogrammetry, you're gonna take a bunch of photos and stitch them together and you'll get, you know, kind of computer vision errors on this. Both are great technologies. I love them both. Not to interrupt, but specifically, just a little nuanced answer to that, right? Comparing yeah. photogrammetry to LiDAR, you can read so many blogs, so many articles about when to use which one, why to use which one. I think it's safe to say like RGB photogrammetry, we do a ton of that at Fly Guys, mm -hmm. has its place. It's perfectly acceptable. It's highly accurate when used in the correct setting. Mm -hmm. But you think about when it works. Mm -hmm. So for instance, shadows if your site's too big you have to fly all day you might actually have to turn that into multiple days to fly around solar noons so you can put everything together mm -hmm. you know uh if if the light is, isn't good now there's there's some frame of reference there like technically overcast days are good because your shadows are more consistent but obviously you can't fly at night um, right there are a lot of things that could mess up photogrammetry but i think just to jump on that really quick, so I started out doing photogrammetry. This is like my bread and butter. And once I went over into LiDAR, the one thing that I just really, really liked about doing LiDAR was that I didn't worry. <laughs> like I would go out and fly and capture a site. And I knew if it was logging data, I would have the full site done. And like, it's a very small nuance thing. But uh, if anyone's out there doing photogrammetry and they come back, if you're using Pix4D and you get the little red dots everywhere, because the photos didn't uh, didn't find any matches, yep. you know that feeling where you're like, "Dang it! Like I gotta go. I'm gonna go back out. I'm gonna add some more. I'll figure it out." But like that reliability of having data, although that's not like the primary difference. I feel like as just an operator, that's one big difference for me. Yeah, exactly. But I'd say the primary difference. So trees. Yep. Vegetation. Vegetation. Yeah. I mean, beauty of this this bad boy here is that. This, these laser pulses, they're, they're really small. Like basically it's a laser pointer, really small. And that laser point will go in between the leaves and hit the ground and then come back up and get measured. So they say seeing through the trees, not really seeing through, you're just kind of looking through the cracks, but you're able to get reliable data below the canopy. So when I, difficult. And I go one step further, like that's that's going to be the answer 99% of people, right? Yeah. The big, the big, plus sign for LIDAR is anywhere you're dealing with vegetation. You can do photogrammetry on, you know, a dirt work site pretty easy. Pretty easy, yep. You know, um, you could do LIDAR just as accurate, but <laughs> what you can't do the photogrammetry is, you know, pre-clearing, where you want to see the ground before the trees are gone. Now, Rock, we're trying to make uh, LIDAR as affordable and easy as possible, both in the hardware and, and in our software. I, I think there's a, just a huge, huge, huge future in this stuff. Like you were saying, we're just on the tip of this iceberg.